In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to create a double exposure in Photoshop. First, find the images that you're going to combine in your double exposure. I got mine from Unsplash, and I left the links in the description below. With your document open, go ahead and drag the first image in. Hold down Alt or Option as you scale your image up and place it round about where you think it looks good. Come over on your toolbar to your selection tool, or you can just hit W, and then come up here to the top where it says select subject and click that guy. And that's just gonna select the subjects in this case perfectly, which is great. So all we have to do now is come down here and create a new layer mask. And we're just gonna refine it a bit because I see that there are some imperfections and we don't want those. We want this to be nice and smooth and not edgy like this. So if you just come over to your layer mask and double click it, it'll take us to the refinement options. And here, if we just smooth it out a bit, I'm gonna bring my smoothness to like 10. And you can see that that really did a good job at smoothing it, but there's still somewhat of a feather here. And we don't want that. We want it to be kind of sharp. Come over to contrast, bring that up to, nine is actually pretty good, okay? Once you have it the way you like it, hit OK and zoom on out. I'm just using Alt or Option in the middle mouse wheel to scroll in and out of this guy. Now we just gotta bring in our mountains or whichever second image you chose to combine with this first. I chose this beautiful mountain range with flowers in the foreground and it's just gorgeous. This photo is amazing. That's why I chose it and that's why we're using it. So right away, once you've brought this in, go ahead and hold down Alt or Option and you'll see when you put your cursor right between these two layers on the line in between them, this little box with an arrow pops up Click that guy, and that's gonna clip that mountain layer to the mask below. Let's just make sure that we have this mountain range round about where we want it. I noticed that it's being cut off a little bit on the top and I don't want that. So I'm gonna hit Control or Command T, and I'm gonna move it around until it looks the way that I want it to look. I'm just moving it around, and I like it right there where the mountain range is not cut off at the top, and I can see the edge of this cliff and the end of this mountain range right at the end of where his head starts to curve. So I like that, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit Enter. Set this layer, this mountain range layer, to screen. And you can already see that we have this really cool double exposure effect, just like that. So now, this is just my preference. I'm gonna go ahead and mask out the front of this guy's face because I wanna see it just a little bit. He's a handsome guy. We don't wanna hide that lovely face. So with that mountain layer selected again, come down to create new layer mask. And go ahead and use your brush tool with a hardness of zero, nice and soft. Just paint out the bits of the face that you wanna see. Make sure the brush is set to black so that it paints black on that mask. And we could call it done right here, but I actually wanna bring in some birds. I really like birds. Oh, and you know what? Also, I just noticed, and you guys might have this happen too, there's like these little bits of his um, head that you can see coming out on the sides. And so all we have to do to get rid of those is just come down to the layer mask for our subject and paint black on the parts that we don't wanna see. Right there, and I noticed this one too, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Don't want it, clean it up. So I'm just gonna bring in my birds. Make sure, and I do this all the time, make sure that you don't bring in a layer in between the layer that has the clipping mask because it will ruin that clipping mask. Not ruin it, but it will make it so that it's no longer clipping. So just clip that guy back with alter option if you made that same mistake like I just did, and then come back up to the very top layer and then drag in your birds or whatever you're dragging in. The birds are looking good, but they have like this vignette around them and we don't want that. So all we have to do is just hit Control or Command L to bring up the levels and then just drag the very right little guy over to the left. And that's just gonna flatten it out and make it white behind the birds. So that when we come up to the blending mode and set it to multiply, all you see are the birds. Hit Control or Command T to transform those birds and move them where you would like to see them. Just like that. And there you have it. Super quick, super easy, super awesome double exposure. Thanks so much for watching. Follow along for more and feel free to reach out in the comments if you have any questions. Until next time.